Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday, March 28th, and I finally got new skid loader door latch. So I'm gonna put that on quick so it's fixed. I'm gonna go grab the skid loader. I'm gonna take these screws out and then this one should come out. We'll be able to put the new one back in. Oh, old one's out. Let's get the new one in. Good as new. I want to get these cams bedded up. I mean, it's not dirty, but it's good to add straw so they can nestle down in it. calf it is the next day and um it's kind of dry out so i'm gonna clean that pile of manure up in the barnyard gotta go grab the spreader Now I'm always running this tractor in most of my videos, but we have John Deere tractors too. The only reason I picked this one to run the spreader with is because it goes faster and it's got LED lights. And I like that for nighttime versus these tractors are a little slower and they don't got LEDs, but I like them too. So it doesn't really matter, but that's just normally what I like to do. I'm gonna show some of the calf feet in the night. I always talk about it, never show it, so might as well show it. So I like to give the calves a starter grain to feed them. I put that in twice a day. It's got some molasses in it. They really like to eat this stuff. We like to feed the calves on milk till about three months age. And then they come out to this group. And then as they get older, they slowly move up. We'll be feeding calves in a few minutes. I got my two buckets of milk, my four buckets. I measure out what each calf gets and I'll take it out. Right now, I'm feeding 16 calves morning and evening. That's getting ready to get on the milker washing.
I got my four buckets ready to go out. I dumped this powder in, supposed to keep the calves healthy. So I'm gonna take this stuff out. Calves drink it away. It doesn't take them very long. They can drink her down pretty quick. So this milker wire keeps coming loose. And um, when you're milking, it'll sense that it's not there and the milker will fall off and it's really frustrating. So Dave's getting it put back together. <laughs> What's up everybody? Hope you didn't miss this guy, cause here he is. <laughs> Still hard at the milkers, everybody. They wanted you all to know. Got the last set of buckets ready to go. Got a new calf to train, so that'll be fun. Got the new calf fed. Best way to teach a new calf is be patient and take your time because they don't know what's going on and you're trying to show them how to do it but all the calves are fed this video will probably run into tomorrow it is the next day and i'm going to clean this up and we're going to see if this stump will come out i don't know but we'll see i'm gonna grab the skid loader excavator but it should work gonna go into the barn here they're milking now so gonna help them with that here <laughs> Dave's getting ready to put a milker on he's milking away now this cow's coming off I got my face dipper. Dave's gonna get the milker. We're getting things done tonight. Right. The hoofdriver was here a week ago and he puts wraps on some cows that have foot issues and they need to be cut off after a week. This is the guy to do her. Take our handy little knife here. As long as she don't kick us, we're in good shape. Put her down one side. And then the iron just pour out. That's it. And there's no pain to the cow. Nope. This video went for a couple days, but it's a slower time of the year, so that's just probably how it goes. Next week, might clean this heifer barn out. We'll see. Weather depending, but that'll be all for this video. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.